one of my male da- audience wrote to me, so I, I put a question on my Instagram um, of who's coming onto the show and lots of people write into me. Lots of, lots of questions were, you know, what does your wife or partner think about your protocols? But we don't need to answer that because you're a single free man. But I know that recently you spoke about one of the things that was unexpected um, was that you had more erections in the evening. Okay, yeah. and it reverses back to your teenage days. One of my male audiences saw this and asked a question um, and said, you know, for the male audience, can you give some more advice and information mm-hmm. towards this? This was a, um, an accidental thing that I made public. So when an article was being written, after it was finished, the, the journalist came back and he said, uh, so yeah, a few people read it, you know, and I got this question of like, hey, how do I improve the health of my penis. And I was like, oh, well, funny you asked. Like, um, just this week, and I told him what I had been doing, I didn't realize I was on the record and that that was going to go into the article. And then it came out and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, shoot. But yeah, I mean, so what, what we were trying to solve for is uh, we, we bought this uh, high-frequency electromagnetic stimulation machine that does muscle contraction. And we did it to augment my one hour a day exercise uh, protocol. And it's a way you can put these things on every muscle of the body, hamstrings, quads, abs, arms, all, all of the above. And you sit down and you've put in your abs, it's the equivalent of 20,000 sit-ups in 30 minutes, like that many contractions. And so uh, one, of the de- one of the ways you could do it is uh, you can sit on one of the devices and it strengthens your pelvic floor. And so I wondered, I was curious, I thought, okay, so we're optimizing for sleep. One of the things that lessens the quality of my sleep is on average, I get up to go to the bathroom one time per night. And every night I cannot go to the bathroom, my sleep is substantially better. And so I wondered if I increase my pelvic floor strength and by proxy my bladder strength, would I have the capacity to sleep through the night every night and not go to the bathroom? And so I started doing it with the objective of sleep and then every time I woke up, I had an erection. And I was like, what is happening? Every, every time I was aware uh, in my sleep, I thought, what is happening? Why am I having so many erections all the time? And so we, then we started looking into it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th- there's, there's curves showing that as men age, they have fewer and less uh, hard erections over time. And so it's just like this accidental humorous finding. And so the device is this high-frequency electromagnetic simulation is I think it's sold throughout the world. We have a a variant version of it. We have it here at at the house. Uh, But people can do them at clinics. They're widely available. And uh, I don't know what the protocol is needed to do it. I don't know how many times. I was doing it daily. Uh, So I don't know what uh, somebody could expect. But yeah, it worked. (laughs) Aren't all the best experiments the ones that we just don't know we're doing? That's how LSD was discovered. And... Yeah. Paracetamol was discovered. All of these things were accidents. And I think now these machines are going to all of a sudden have a huge demand <laughs> because now you're openly speaking <laughs> that they're going to help with erections. But this just leads me to a question which I think is talked about a lot more around sex, that sex is great for our health. Okay, so when we talk about sleep routines, they're like, we have it for sleep or we have it for sex. We don't have it for anything else. Mm. Um, and sleep is fantastic, obviously, for our dopamine and our serotonin and our stress release and basically for stress we're meant to have more sex because it's a stress reduction is that something that you're even thinking about is that something that you're factoring in can you have sex are these thoughts and conversations that you have with your doctors and what's your where are you with this question yeah we plan on addressing that soon i do get a lot of questions about sex orgasms and semen retention okay because there is a part yeah. of me that thinks that's such a big release, even if it's just not with somebody else, on the save mas- on the area of masturbation. All of these yeah. conversations, I think, are now we're having so much more. We've had so many people on the podcast talking on this area, and that was yeah. one of the things that really stood out. I was like, "Where is his sex in this protocol?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've as as a team, we we've looked at it in a cursory view. We've not done a deep dive. And that's why I'm hesitant to talk about it yet because I try to only speak about things which we've measured and we mm. can speak about with, you know, we have data, scientific evidence and we have data to, to back it up. I try to avoid getting to any area that is not backed by that same rigor. And this is one where we're not ready yet to speak about because we haven't done, I think, a robust enough search 
uh, a bit like, for example, things we have. I published our our April blueprint notes today. Every every month, I publish our field notes, and I posted in the FAQ one of the more common ones we get, which is, do we do cold therapy, and yes. do we have a cold therapy protocol? And I don't. And we it's not part of the blueprint protocol, not because there aren't potential benefits. Surely there may be. It's just we haven't been able to find the evidence to support it's beneficial for my aging objectives. And so it's a very narrow. So if you understand blueprint is a process and a very narrow objective on aging, then you understand the context. So this is not to say anything against cold therapy or to not practice cold therapy. It's just not in our protocol because it doesn't meet our, our focus objective. Thanks so much for listening. To hear the full episode, there's a link in the description.